Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vago Maradian here at the Navy League's annual Sea Airspace Conference and Trade Show outside Washington, D.C. and National Harbor, Maryland, where our coverage is sponsored by Fincantieri, Huntington Ingalls Industries, and Leonardo DRS. And we're over on the Airbus stand to talk to Gene Young, who's the Senior Director for uh, uh, Military Business Development at uh, Airbus uh, Helicopters. Gene, thanks very much for the time. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, so uh, uh, there is a Navy helicopter uh, competition. Uh, or, or the, the beginning of a, uh, a Navy helicopter competition for uh, the aircraft that will be in the Navy schoolhouse to train uh, future helicopter aviators. Uh, we've uh, managed to talk to the folks at Leonardo as well as at, at Bell, and I know there are other companies, but you, you are the, the third of the big three who are in this, in this competition. Talk to us a little bit about the H-135 and why uh, you guys think that it could be a solution. I'm not going to say the solution, yeah. and, and I want to ask you a little bit about the Navy's program there, but what do you think are the attributes of this machine that you think is, is best suited to what you think the Navy will want? Well, this aircraft has a lot of capabilities to it that we really think will meet the, the requirements that we have heard from the Navy up to this point. Uh, like uh, twin engines, uh, right now the Navy has a single engine aircraft. That restricts them on some of the training that they can do because the rest of their aircraft in their fleet is two or three engines. So if you start training with a twin engine, you advance their training at an exponential rate, and that allows you to bring some training that they would have to do in their fleet back into the initial pilot training there in Whiting Field. So this, this aircraft has a lot of those capabilities, has four axis autopilot, uh, a number of things like that, a full glass cockpit, which is very similar to what they will go to in the Romeo and the Sierra and the 53 and other aircraft the Navy has. So it has a lot of capabilities that will allow them to transition their pilot at a quicker rate into their fleet and allow them to focus on other types of training in their fleet. How would you respond then to the cost issue? Because right, every time you go to an engine, it just, it does change the cost dynamic, even though it gives you a lot of uh, uh, benefits. And, and that's one of the issues in, in the, uh, you know, a question, right? Why did the Air Force always like to have, you know, why was the T-838 twin engine? There was a power and single engine capability, but it's also systems complexity and wrapping your mind around it. But but it also carries a penalty. You know, what's the case you're making to the Navy who may look at the economics of this and say, hey, it's a twin engine machine and, and, it, and that has a little bit higher acquisition and also operating? Well, yeah, initial acquisition cost, you know, a twin will run you more than a single, of course. Like you just said, there's two engines versus one. But over a period of time, you, the, over a period of time, 25, 30 years there, when you're looking at the, you know, the flight 70,000 flight hours or what the Navy is saying they're going to be running every year, the, the maintenance cost on this aircraft is actually in the same range that the singles are. So you're getting two engines, you can do advanced training, but you're still in the same maintenance area that you would be with a single. So that's one of the points we're making to them. Over a 30 year time frame, we're actually saving you money. Now, up front, acquisition costs, you're right. We, you know, there is a delta there. But let's look at the long, long program here because right now your 57s are over 30 years old. You need to look at it from the long run. Talk to us about the overall training system because you're not just buying a helicopter, you're buying a training system. Talk to us about the training system and the approach you're bringing to it. Okay, so not only the helicopter, but we're also bringing, you know, the, the contract will have simulators in it. It will have computer-based training. Uh, there will be, you know, the, of course, the support, the maintenance. So right now the, the requirements we do have from the Navy is that they're looking at all these aspects. They want a total training system like you mentioned. Now, where we start getting into some questions is they're trying to figure out, is it all going to be under one contract or they're going to break the contract up into multiple multiple pieces, meaning that, OK, I want to buy the helicopters, I want to buy the simulators, and then I want to buy the curriculum updates, those kind of things. So they're still struggling with that, trying to figure out their approach and going forward. That's some of the information we need as industry, which will allow us to give them some better answers. Uh, and how long do you think before the Navy's going to have some of those answers for you guys? Because you're going to need a couple of months in order to prepare a proposal. Yes. Right? Yes. Right now their schedule is they're supposed to have a draft RFP out in October, followed by the final RFP in February of next year. Uh, so. Right now we are preparing all the information, you know, ourselves. we're looking into a number of things so that we'll have the information together 
for the draft RFP, be able to supply them as much information as we can, and then finalize whatever we need to between the draft RFP and the full RFP. But like I mentioned a second ago, that's going to be the big one because we right now we're hoping that they clarify some of these requirements that we've been hearing through the industry days, the one-on-one -on -one meetings we've had. How are you going to go forward? Do you want to go with a single? Do you want to go with a twin? Uh, you know, they want a co full commercial COTS program, but then you'll talk to someone else and, well, no, we want to do some military development on it. We want a special capability right. on it. Okay, so you're going to have to kind of figure out which way you want to go forward and let industry know. And then, like I said, we can, we can go through and say, do you want a single? Do you want a twin? Gene Young from Airbus Helicopters, sir. Thanks very much. Oh, thank you program. very much.